What is going on guys and girls? My name is James and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time once again to jump back into B-Swab Simulator and today I bring you some very good news. We just had some brand new leaks and these ones I think are really important because of where they have happened in the grand time scale of the elusive Beesmus update. Beesmus, 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 you cheeky chicken, you tempt us in once more. <laughs> This should be good. So in three, two, one, Claymouth the Hive. How are we all doing? Hopefully you all do amazing. Welcome back. Thank you for once again coming out to hang out to talk about a digital virtual bee game on the internet, which is actually a game inside a game. And it's all about bees and it's good to be here. Anyway, I'm talking rubbish. Essentially, there's been some brand new leaks that just came out. And I think these are really, really important in the grand time scale of when we can anticipate beesmas. Now I'm gonna say a thing in just a second. <laughs> It's, it's a dangerous thing to say, but uh, I've said it before and something happened, so we'll see. Just before we get there, I'll keep it short and sweet, but as always, Mushroom of Hype, Mr. Fungus has been sat on. Yeah, just thank you so much for coming and hanging out. It's always really nice to see people on this uh, video and the content and stuff, uh, waiting for the Beast Swarm content. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. If we can try and get like 2,000 likes on this episode, it would be really, really appreciated. It's always really nice to see uh, when we can hit those like goals. It just generates a bit of hype and excitement and stuff for me to, to make the video. Uh, so yeah, just thank you so much for being here. Let's talk about these new leaks. Let's get stuck in. So it's time to use the paintbrush of words to paint the picture, to light up the canvas about what I'm about to say. Now here's the thing, you're gonna have to forgive me, my memory is a little bit hazy. We've done many, many, many Bee Swarm videos. I feel like we've done probably around 500 plus of Bee Swarm and related content. But this one is to do with the brand new leaks and these are the brand new shop items, packs that have now been leaked for the Beesmas update. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at all four of the brand new Robux packs, see what kind of items on it is giving us and you know, just seeing kind of what the vibe is for those. However, I seem to remember, now I could be making this up, but I seem to remember in a different video for a previous Beesmus, these packs came out and I think I said something along the lines of, on it normally puts the packs in right at the end of an update. And I think like the very next day, Beesmus came out. Now, am I saying that Beesmus is coming out tomorrow? Absolutely not. <laughs> But you never know, you heard it here first. But yeah, what I kind of generally think is when things like the packs and the cosmetic items and the things for Robux are going into the update, that must mean that the update is pretty much ready to go. You would hope so. But first things first, let's talk about that in a bit more detail. I also wanna kind of talk about a few other things, but let's take a look at the actual packs. Okay, so yeah, as I mentioned, there's four of these in total, and they sort of range, you know, from the cheaper price all the way up to the really expensive one. I believe the most expensive one, which we'll look at at the end, is 4,500 Robux. On it tends to, like, throw in, like, a mega pack right at the end. Uh, but this one is the cheapest one. This is called the Extravaganza Starter Pack, uh, and this is what the decal looks like here. Boom. So yeah, very, very straightforward items in this one. You have the eggs. So you've got a diamond egg, you've got a gifted silver, you've got a gold egg, uh, you've got some, you know, magic beans, and you've You've got some snowflakes there, you've got some super smoothies, and you've got some tickets too. Uh, so this is a very, very basic one, but already what I'm kind of thinking is that these days, the economy inside Bee Swarm Simulator has changed an awful lot. Now that may sound kind of strange, but like eggs, for example, once were these kind of very coveted items. Um, and, you know, back in the day when the wind shrine was, you know, wind shrine is still really useful, but donating those, those eggs for, you know, the really good field winds and all that kind of stuff, was like the best thing to do with them essentially if you had all of your bees but these days you do also now have the sticker printer which is another way to utilize the eggs as well as you do now also have the eggs as types of rewards for the global leaderboard challenges um so this is once again obviously like another way to get these eggs this is just uh, which one did i pick here uh the, the top honey gift receivers um so you know all of these people here top 25 prize they get the gifted diamond eggs now of course in the grand scheme of like how many people are playing Bee Swarm versus how many people are getting these eggs, um, you know, the sort of the higher players and the more consistent players are going to be essentially farming those eggs. For someone who's, you know, not farming or not playing too frequently, uh, the packs will be a way to actually get eggs, but my one and only hope is that Onyx kind of realizes that and maybe just gives us a little bit extra in these packs to kind of balance that out because some people can get as many eggs as they want for free, other people can't. So I'm just really hoping that the balance is there for the pricing and maybe we could just get a a few extra goodies in these packs this time. Now, the second pack we have here is this is the Wavy Doodle Hive Bundle. Now, of course, we have seen the intro.
introduction of the wavy hives into the game already. So uh, yeah, this is just one of these things. Now I mentioned it briefly in last episode we did, which was I think like a, just under a week ago. Um, and I said like, I'm really surprised how on it actually decided to just put random stuff in the game already. Like, if I was on it, which I may or may not be, who knows, could be a mystery. <laughs> but yeah, what I would have done is I would have actually saved something like the Wavy Hives, and I would have put them all in the Beesmus update when it updated. Obviously, on it doesn't think like that, and he was like, you know what, the content's ready. It's not necessarily important for Beesmus, but he'd like to put it in the game. Therefore, he just stuck them in the sticker printer, for example. So yeah, you can actually get these Wavy skins uh, in, in the actual game, and I'm I'm sure you've probably seen a few people with the wavy hives in you know the lobbies and stuff like that i don't think i've got any of them yet actually i haven't really tried but essentially with the new packs and how you get the eggs and stuff you know i'm just going to probably spend them all in the, the, the printer anyway but yeah anyway this pack here you do get the exclusive wavy doodle hive so i'm guessing this is only going to be available uh via robux um i think so anyway let me check yeah, I, I, I assume it's only going to be... Oh, I'll tell you what I can do, actually. <laughs> I always forget. We now have this, like, amazing um, interface with, like, all of these things that we can actually just get the information from, which I think is fantastic. So, yeah, we can just double check here. Uh, this will be included in a pack not yet available. So, yeah, the only way that you're going to be able to get this wavy doodle skin is going to be via a Robux pack. And I'm wondering if these are going to be tradable. Because if they are tradable, essentially, it's just a straight Robux purchase. So, it's going to hold a bit of a premium... Um, and I imagine that in terms of stickers and various things that you would have to trade for these, uh, it's going to be quite a lot in order to actually get an item which is a physical money item. But yeah, you've obviously got the wavy hive here, you've got some tickets, you've got red blue extracts, uh, you've got some tropical drinks, you've got some dice, and you've got some festive beans. So that's pack number two. Pack number three, which is called the Purple Planter Pack. You have various planters of course so you do have the mythic egg in there as well um but essentially you get some of the sticker planters which are the new ones uh you do have some of the festive planters there you've got some of the ticket planters you've just got some purple potions you've got some gingerbread men you've got some tickets and you also have what seems to be like a sticker so i'm wondering actually let's double check because this is kind of interesting is this sticker yet in the index and if so do we have information so this is the critter in a stocking so all of like the meta to data i guess and like the ways that you can obtain these are sort of built into the game already it's just they haven't been released yet um so it says here that this is a beesmus only critter in a stocking sticker and you can see here that we have some of the other ones as well you do have some of the rewards here so this is reward from the pokey gift box which is going to be one of the gift boxes that you find along uh the world you do have the various information but this one specifically it has three uh question marks so now we can basically confirm that this critter in a stocking sticker is going to be available probably only from the actual uh, robux packs themselves and once again if this is only a robux only pack an item then it's going to hold a bit of a premium when it comes to trading just to kind of go over these as well like i don't know if people have seen these or not but yeah you can essentially see all of the beesmus sort of type stickers that are coming into the game so we have the green beesmus lights the blue ones and the red ones you can get these as a rare chance from catching them and it also says potential reward from the fluorescent and festive gift boxes so it says here potential which is interesting does that mean now that the the gift boxes that we receive will essentially have randomized stickers now i remember we were talking about that i think a couple of episodes ago and on it was saying that because of the way stickers are going to work in the beesmus update we're going to have random stickers basically generated which we have to then receive and give to complete certain quest lines it's really really interesting i think i hopefully he's going to test that all nicely so it's going to work uh but yeah stickers are going to be a really big thing in the update in case you missed that video it's, it's up on the channel so make sure you go and check it out but essentially on it is explaining how this year's beesmus quests will be different from any other quest that we've ever seen because of the sticker introduction and how they're going to work with the npcs and collection so it's kind of interesting and now the big boy we have the gifted gig bundle um yeah <laughs> what we do traditionally is we just go and buy all of the packs anyway and support on it with the game it's interesting actually just as a as a side um lots of games in in bees and in beast sorry, not beast, in roblox um they monetize their games really 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 heavily and you look at games you know especially like big games for example um so you know the pet simulators you look at you know games like adopt me um they are constantly wielding out new ways to kind of get money from from their player base and they make an absolute fortune probably relatively to a game like bee swarm and i always find it really really interesting how to be honest on like a day-to-day -day basis i often wonder how many of these items here are ever sold 
um, I really don't think there'd be that many. I think in terms of what I've spent Robux on in general, I think a while ago I got super impatient because I needed stingers for something. <laughs> so I bought like a bunch of night bells. But apart from that, like I don't think I've ever really bought any of these things, especially like honey. I'm not sure who was ever buying that. So on its like only way to kind of monetize the game is obviously when the updates happen. And when the updates happen so infrequently, I think it's important that he does try and <laughs> generate something from them. So I have no problems with like the, the pricings of the packs. Not everyone's going to be afford them, of course. Um, especially this one. This is really, really expensive, but we do get like some cool rewards there. You can see that we also get a, a festive bee sticker. Um, actually, let's have a look at that. Oh, that's really interesting. So this is the flying festive bee sticker, which is part of this pack. Uh, but it says here that the uh, you can actually get it for free. So it's from festive gifts and gift and festive wreaths drawing beesmus. But the odds of you receiving this increase with level. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so that the higher level you are, the easier it is to get. I feel like that should be opposite. No, that's a terrible suggestion. Is it? I don't know. But yeah, anyway, if you want to bypass that altogether, it's a strange one to put in the really expensive pack. You would have thought that it would have put like the other one in, um, just because it's one that you can only get from a pack. Um, but then again, that would also price out the market, so I kind of understand it. Uh, but yeah, you do also get like a bunch of the wax, the caustic wax, all that kind of stuff. You get some gingerbread bears, you get some turpentine, which is a trickier one to get these days. You get some star treats, some st uh, stickers and t stickers, tickets, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, those are the four packs. So I'll be honest, like I was expecting them to be slightly heavier weighed in terms of like premium stickers uh, maybe not everything that we get in the packs are going to be listed on the picture by the way i'd imagine there's going to be some other items in there too i guess there's like only a certain amount of space that on can make for these these packs themselves but yeah so we now have the four of the brand new packs which are confirmed for the beesmas update which potentially could be pretty soon <laughs> Yeah, just before we finish, I guess it's a case of, like, when Beesmus. Um, I, I do think that adding the packs in at this sort of later date, I, th I think, is a good sign. And, yeah, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up or anything, but usually that happens when things are pretty much good to go. Um, of course, we still haven't had any testing in the test realm. Um, and there's been a massive amount of changes to the game in terms of the, the change log, um, all of the rebalancing and stuff. Normally, that would be something that Onit would upload to the public test realm, uh, unless it's been updated and I've just not noticed. Uh, but yeah, there's like a, a bunch of stuff there. So, so it's kind of strange. Like the test realm, I don't believe is, is beesmussy right now. Um, normally there's a bit of testing and I think on it would at the least maybe have to test the way that the stickers work with the beesmus quests. So I would more so predict the test realm is going to update first. Um, but I could be wrong. Maybe on it will just surprise us all and stick it up. <laughs> uh, these days I don't really know, but I think it's going to be fun. Anyway, unfortunately, that's going to be about it for this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, thanks, and see ya.